So this is kind of a continuation of my um, B&M haul um, and this is the Christmas stuff and also a few Christmas bits that I picked up in Matalan on Monday as well. Um, if you notice the change in the light, I did, it's got really dark. Um, it's literally only a couple of hours since I filmed my first video but it's gotten really dark and autumnal all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, I've kind of moved to try and find better light so hopefully um it looks okay so uh the bits that i got from the christmas section in b and m there's loads more i want to get but this is just a few bits to sort of start off i've got the little woodland mini santa we do have a big one of these that's about i don't know about four feet tall i suppose three or four feet tall um that comes out at christmas but um I thought this little guy would be great to hang on the tree. I'm kind of getting a new tree this year um, and going with like a whole new theme. So it's going to be kind of, I usually do like, I have a white tree and the past few years I've done like sort of lots of pastel colours and then started introducing more like snowy colours and sort of um, lots of like creatures and stuff. So it will be... Um, still like a woodlandy wintery theme um, with lots of animals and naturey bits and stuff like that so I think he'll look really nice so he's to go on the tree um, and as you can see he's got his lovely fur coat on and he's got his little sack there with a little tree in and some sticks so he's really cool he was one ninety nine, and then I got the one on a sled as well or a sleigh whatever you want to call it um, he was two ninety nine, and he again just to go on the tree to fit with the theme. Kind of want to do sort of reds and golds and greens, all like really nice natural colours, and like I said, just lots of woodland creatures and things like that. So he's got his little sack with his bells and trees and things in. So he's cool. Um, and then also to go on the tree, I just got these because I thought they were cute. A little Christmas pudding um, ball balls, uh, glittery ball balls. I just thought they were really cool. Again, with the colours, like the golds and the green and the red. Um, yeah. Christmas pudding ball balls. Um, I got this uh, to go for my... For Joe's Christmas present. So I've put a couple of bottles of wine in there. It's a wine bottle holder so I think she'll like that that's cool that was one ninety nine, and um, Stuart picked up a couple of bits um, he wanted to get for the past couple of years he's been going on about getting a Santa toilet cover so he bought this one um, which you know best of up the bathroom I suppose and um, I was planning to get these anyway and then Stuart picked them up while I was still looking at the Halloween stuff. And they're um, chair covers, so they go on the back of the chairs. Um, and I'm going to get the whole matching bits to go with these, the tablecloth and the runner and some glitter table mats. I just want to really go all out festive this year. Um, I feel like last year I didn't make as much of an effort with Christmas like we didn't even turn the lights on like every single night and stuff so this year I just really want to go all out especially we're going to have a new baby as well um I just hopefully it's just going to be our best Christmas yet and yeah just go all out and you know people don't like it don't come round but um yeah I'm definitely going for a really festive look this year um so then we went to Matalan and I got the kids new Christmas sacks because they've had these um, Disney personalised ones that I bought from the Disney store a few years ago and I felt like they were kind of starting to outgrow them now, like Brett's cars, um, Courtney's is like Chip and Dale, you know, the little chipmunks and um, Lucy's is Winnie the Pooh. Um, and Brett's and Courtney's are quite small, they're about, I don't know, that big I suppose. Um, but you know they fit their annuals and bits and bobs like that in every year um, selection pack you know bits and bobs um, in the start in like for they leave the sacks on the end of their beds um, and 
yeah, so I just thought maybe a bit of updating. We'd seen these a few weeks ago. So I've got um, Brett, this one that just says no peaking till Christmas. I'll show you the picture on the back because I haven't actually taken the... So that says no peaking till Christmas. And it, as you can see, it's nice and big, so fit lots in it. If if he's on the good list this year, of course. Um, yeah, so got him that. He's really pleased with that. The girls aren't so pleased with theirs, which I thought they would be because they're Christmas pudding sacks. And um, they're really cute. But both the girls say they prefer their old ones. So I don't know what ones they're going to use. If they do end up using uh, their old Disney Store ones, then me and Stuart will just have these. Um, so, yeah, we don't usually have a stocking as such. Um, you know, the kids usually have a stocking, like a sack, that, you know, they have a few bits filled in and then they come into our room in the morning and open those and then we go downstairs and everything else is under the tree, usually. So, um, um, our, mine and Stuart's are usually under the tree. We just put ours under the tree. So, yeah, so... But Stuart did say he wanted a sack this year. So, um, so yeah, so we might just have those and the kids will have their old ones, well, the girls. Um, and then uh, I wanted to get the kids all Christmas quilts this year as well. Again, just with going all out because me and Stuart have had our Christmas duvet for the last couple of years now. Um, so for Lucy, I got this one. Which is like, um, I thought it looked like a kind of a ski race or something, but I don't know. It's just just got lots of different pictures. I think it's because of the posts, because of the North Pole things. They just remind me of like skiing. So it's got Santas on and reindeers and Christmas puddings and all stuff like that. So that one's for Lucy. Courtney's is like an advent one so it's got all the numbers on and then the little pillow that says dear santa i've been good this year which i don't know courtney have you i know you watch my videos so um yeah so that's courtney's one and then for brett because most of them are quite babyish i got him the the most boyish non-babyish one I could find um because you know he's a boy and he is 12 nearly 13 so um I got him this one which has just got like lots of penguins and snowmen on so it's still really cute and still really festive but um not too babyish for him so they've got those and then me and Stuart did get a new one as well um so we got this one that says it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Um, I think the other one we've got is kind of got like reindeers or something on, like the it's still red with the kind of reindeery pattern on. Um, so we thought we'd get another one as well. And um, it's brushed cotton, so it looks really soft and lovely. Um, yeah. So and the good thing is that um, I had a. 20% off voucher for Matalan that I got on Voucher Cloud. So um, I actually saved £17.80 on all of those items from Matalan. It would have come to £89.10 and I paid £71.30. So um, I was really pleased with that. And that's just our little few Christmas bits that we got. We'll probably be getting lots more. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get stuff. Like, like I said, while I had the 20% off and, yeah, just a few bits from B&M. We'll probably go back to B&M in a few weeks and buy some more because there's loads of stuff in there. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.